everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, I just will reminisce a little bit about what I did today. Besides take care of the kids and their schoolwork, and that is always a challenge, but it got done. Today, um, well, I'm one of those, I kept telling my, I don't know where I got to go. <laughs> I'm stammering, can you tell? My grandson likes to play video games and things, and I'm really against him playing video games. And I, a long time ago when I had the daycare, I had a little boy that would come in early in the morning, and if he wanted to play any game games, now we had just DAWs, everything was kind of different. It's not like the windows of today. But he had to play Funnels and Buckets, which was a math program, and he got to be such a whiz at the game it was unbelievable but he had to play that for about an hour and then he could play whatever he wanted to play well today I did the same with my grandson he took six and a half hours to do his work which should have taken him probably three and a half hours but it took him almost an hour to do two math problems because he he daydreams and dilly dallies and does whatever and I says you know the I've been waiting for you to get your work done so I can do the things I want to do and what I wanted to do was I wanted to watch Vicki Marie's live and so finally I just watched it while he was dilly-dallying because he was taking too long it took him an hour to do the two problems and because it took him an hour I'll go back to Vicki Marie in a minute I know I'm all over the place <laughs> Jim's smiling um, because he took so long to do the two problems, I told him I had to wait an hour for you. You're going to wait an hour before you can do any of your games on the on the computer or the his game thing that he brought, his little pad, tablet. Of tablet I guess it is. So he and I played catch for a while, and then he goes, "I got to check the time." I says, "You just look at the clock. I have the analog clock and I have a digital clock." He can't read an analog clock, but the digital clock he can read, which is good. But if I say it's 15 minutes to the, uh, you've got 15 minutes left, he goes, um, he doesn't quite understand 15 minutes apparently. But he but he will say it's, it's whatever, 45, like it was 345. I said, yeah, that means there's 15 minutes left to get to 4 o'clock. But it's like doesn't click because it's I, I can't he goes I can't read that kind of clock and I go well you read you write it like the numbers on the microwave and then you look at the hands on the clock I don't know what they're going to this is going now we're going <laughs> off a little bit but I was thinking of when they do the test when you have your physical they want you to draw a clock so are these kids going to draw a clock with a face on it with numbers or are they going to draw a clock with not like um a box with the numbers in it <laughs> probably so they, and they will probably draw a digital clock. a digital clock instead of an analog clock well anyways i was watching vicky marie's live which is vicky marie living life I, I believe it's the name of her channel and we were talking about black olives and i had said that i was a black olive snob i don't know if any of you have noticed but the canned black i love black olives i will eat a can i of would say you're more of a connoisseur than a snob <laughs> well i know a good a good black olive when i a bit from a bad That's black a kind olive. Of sore. oh okay well <laughs> anyways <laughs> and it sounds better and it sounds better <laughs> um like if you open up a can of olives and you taste them some taste like turpentine they're so bad I used to be able to buy this one kind of black olive I haven't been able to find it in years it used to be called black beauty and they were the best black olives that you could have got but now you can't find them I don't know what I don't even know what kind so when I go to a buffet I will always taste one olive before I take any olives even though I love olives I could eat the whole can myself and with nothing else. That's how much I like them. Well, we talked about black olives, and then we talked about, they talked about green smoothies. Jim and I used to eat the green smoothies for quite a while before we went on um, keto. And we had a, a Nutribullet that we used, and we used to go right out into the garden and gather the kale and gather the, the Swiss chard. And 
we'd buy spinach to put in it. And then we used to put a few, a little bit of frozen fruit. Like we'd put either strawberries, blueberries. He used to put mango in his. I don't like mango. Um, I like the, <laughs> the, the kids, The kids like the mango. And or a banana in it, and that would be our green smoothie. And they were they were, were quite good in the in the ninja. The the, the Nutri Bullet Nutri Bullet we had did very well with that. And then we also talked about intermittent fasting. And I do intermittent fast, but I do I don't know those of you that intermittent fa intermittent do intermittent fasting, I always feel like my tongue and teeth want to eat something. They want to chew on something. They want something crunchy and then they want something sweet and then they want something salty and then they want something crunchy and then they want it's like a vicious circle. Savory. Savory, yeah. It's if I eat something that's got a little sweetness to it, I need something to offset it. So or if I have something salty I want something to offset that. It's crazy. But then and, and then they talked about we talked about water and coffee and how much water should you be drinking and the the Different things that we've read say that you're supposed to drink about half your body weight in water, which I almost did today. Not quite. I still have more to go. Um, and also, what else did we talk about? About being consistent and developing habits and plans. I really enjoyed this this live that I was in. It gave me, it gave you a lot of food for thought, and. So to be consistent is really important, but you have to plan to be consistent. So you have to just make sure you do it all the time, I guess. I don't know where I was going with that. But <laughs> anyways, and then I decided that I would do the laterals that, that Vicki had talked about. And I had the three-pound weights, and then I thought, oh, this is too heavy. And she uses eight-pound weights. I can't believe it. But anyways, <laughs> she's stronger than me. And so I went down to the two pound weights and then Paige and I were doing the laterals together and she had the two pound weights and I had to end up with the three pound weights, which after a while it wasn't too bad. But I did put the weights on my ankles and walked around all day and my grandson decided that he'd put some weights on his wrists and his ankles. So he did the same thing. So that you was still my, have your I still on. have my weights on, yeah. Cause my feet will feel like they're floating when I take them off. <laughs> I'll feel like I'm walking on air. And so that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed reminiscing with my day. Even though I sat in a chair and told you about it, <laughs> I didn't show you. A lot of you that show everything that you do, boy, that is hard, I'm sure. But to tell it is, I think, a lot easier. And even though I go off track a lot. so. Well, I hope you have a great night, and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.